morning, lovely people. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching me from. This is your man, your boy, your son, domestic travels and consultancy services. In this video, I'm going to share with you some interesting facts about Africa, the continent Africa, and rich people. The interesting fact about the continent. So, gradual, gradual, let's gather ourselves and travel together. Yes. So we are going to number one on the list is the the modern humans are believed to be originated from Botswana. The modern human. We believe that um, some part of the world and the people in this um, world, some originated from the country known as Botswana, which is located in Africa. Botswana is located in Africa, and we believe modern humanity is originated from Botswana. Within the past 2,000 years ago, um, they solidify the African theory. We have a theory known as African theory, which believes that modern human originated from Botswana. Probably. From AD or BC, or BC um, 2000, 2000. Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea is the only African country which speaks Spanish. And the Spanish language is of um, official language in Equatorial Guinea. They are the Spanish speaking country. Are, it's also known as since they speak Spanish, it will believe that uh, they were being colonized by the Spain, the people of Spain. So they speak the Spanish. Equatorial Guinea, they are the only Spanish speaking country in Africa. Morocco is the most visited country in Africa. Morocco is the most visited country in Africa. People do visit Morocco. If you are in a country in Africa, Morocco has been known as the most um, visited country in Africa. People go there either for sports, for tourism, for leisure. And uh, for agriculture, they are known. Uh, uh, Morocco is noted for um, sports in the sports industry. They are good in sports. They are good in farming. Morocco is also a farming country. They do farm agriculture. So people go to either for tour, for sports, or for religious purposes. It's one of the Islamic um, base, or they believe in the faith of Allah or Islam. So they, people go there either to have fun or for religiously or for agricultural purposes. Nigeria has the Nigeria has the uh, the richest black man in Africa is from Nigeria. He is from Nigeria. Aliko Dangote. Aliko Dangote is the richest black man in Africa and he's uh, from Nigeria. So Nigerians or Nigeria hold the richest man in Africa. His net worth is uncountable. It's estimated around billions of dollars. He's into business, he's uh, into cement production, sugar, co confectionery, biscuits and food. Dangote produces a whole lot in Ghana. He has some of his cement factories. Dangote cement in Ghana, but in other part of the world, he produces confectionaries, biscuits, and the rest. A little Dangote produces, making him the richest black man in Africa, or the richest man in Africa. As a Samuel Eto was formerly uh, the most uh, well paid player. Samuel Eto was um, formerly well paid play player in the world. He was uh, playing for Chelsea and he was playing for Chelsea. He earned highest. Samuel Eto was formerly the 
highest player in the world. He received about 350,000 weekly in Russia. In 2011, 2011 Samuel Eto was playing in Russia and uh, he was receiving 330,000 weekly in euros. Or euros. In 2011, Eto was receiving that huge amount. And the video drop bar was going for shows, not 30. So Eto was receiving terrible amount. In 2011. And I don't know um, his financial strength as at now, which was 2011 and 20, almost 12 years ago. So, I don't know his financial standards at home. The northernmost part of Africa is Cape Angela in Tunisia. Uh, the northernmost part of Africa is, is being located in Tunisia. Cape Angela is, is in uh, Tunisia. Most, the northernmost part of Africa is in Tunisia. Cape Angela is Lesotho is the only independent state in, in the world that lives above 1,000 meters in the elevation. Lesotho is a country in Africa, the only independent state in the, in the world that lives above elevation, that 1,000 feet. In square is 300,281 300, feet. 281 feet. 281 feet. There was a dinosaur discovered in Niger, believed to have been there around 150 million years ago. Dinosaur, it means the discovery of bones and other skeletal remains of humans was being discovered in Niger, which believed that people had been living there 150 million years ago. It was being noted as um, it was a great discovery in Niger, so they named it as Niger Nigerosaurus. 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 Niger is a country in West Africa and is being located of its same borders with um, Togo, Nigeria, Benin. Yes, so they discovered this dinosaur. Um, they believe that there was some extinct. A group of people have been living in this country during or about uh, 150 million years ago when the name was Nijarasos. Nijarasos. Burkina Faso is the leader in craft making. They make craft and uh, his ornaments and all those things in the and Art culture, they are the leader in craft making and art culture and uh, and and host large craft market in Africa. So Burkina Faso are the leader in the art culture and craft making. They make the beads, the, the, the necklace and all those things. Anklets and all those things. Uh, the Burkina Faso is the leading producer in craft making and art culture in Africa. So okay now. Nigeria has won more football cups. We have won more football cups in uh, Nigeria than even England. Why am I comparing Nigeria and England? Football is believed that football originated from England. The people of the England, thus they are the people who brought football. Football started in England. They are the original owners of football. But the interesting fact is Nigeria has won more football cups in tournaments, in local league and all those things. Um, Nigeria has won more than the England itself. Zimbabwe former president Robert Gabriel Mugabe 
was believed to be the um, the renowned or uh, ever educated president the world have received. He was uh, having seven university degrees, two masters and five bachelor's degree. The Robert Mugabe, African legend, he also rest in peace. Seven university degree with two of them masters. The two of them masters. Robert Mugabe. Al Ali uh, of Egypt. Al Ali of Egypt is the richest football club in Africa. Al Ali of Egypt. Egypt is the Republic of Egypt or Islamic Republic of Egypt or Arabic Republic of Egypt. They are food, one of their football teams, Al Ali, is the richest football in Africa, uh, in the northern part of Africa. Johannesburg, Johannesburg in South Africa, is the richest city in South Africa. That's Johannesburg. Some of the cities in South Africa, Johannesburg, um, Johannesburg, Pretoria, Cape Town, they are all cities in South Africa. Well, the, the capital, Johannesburg, is the richest city in, Af in Africa, in Africa. Didier Drogba, Didier Drogba, he was the highest goal scorer in the European Champions League. Didier Drogba in the European Champions League. Didier Drogba was the Chelsea highest goal scorer in the European Champions League or in the European competition. He scored more in the European competition. Zinis Zinedine Zidane, Zinedine Zidane wanted to play for Algeria, but the selector rejected him, saying there are more already many players like him in the country. Zinedine Zidane wanted to play for Algeria, his motherland, but he rejected him and said there are more players like him, so they can't give him that offer, that much offer, no much offer. Uh, President Nelson Kabila Mandela, Nelson Mandela, President Nelson Mandela was known as a um, well-known man uh, in the world, a world icon. He was taken from Africa. He fought for uh, freedom for South Africa. He was in prison for 27 years and they frustrated him. They wanted to give up on the hope of fighting for such a freedom. They did everything to frustrate this guy, to make him confused. But Nelson Mandela, a man with vision, he keep on pursuing the vision until they gave them the independence. So I think he became a president in, the, in South Africa after 27 years in prison. His wife divorced him and the, the wife visited him in prison and told him to even give up on his goal, on his vision. After several years in prison, his close friend married his wife. His close friend married his wife. And his successors were Jacob Zuma and the rest. They all resorted or they were all found themselves in prison. Robert Mugabe of uh, Robert Mugabe also was jailed in prison. They sentenced him in prison. They sentenced Robert Mugabe in prison. That Zimbabwe president. They sentenced him in prison for eleven years for fighting for freedom from his country. He went to prison eleven years for fighting for freedom. For his country, for fighting for freedom from his country, he was jailed for 11 years. Egypt, uh, the, we believe that we, the Africans and the Egypt and North Africa, to be specific, believe that paper and pen, that's writing, begins at in Egypt. Invention, modernization, 
organization or civilization started in Africa, and that's Egypt. Invention, pen and ink. Egypt was the first country to manufacture all these things. This kind of invention started in Egypt. And in Egypt, we are proud of you. Egypt was one superpower. They were once leading in the world. The superpower in the world was once in Egypt, where people were going there as slaves. The, um, the people of Israel were found themselves as slaves in Egypt. Um, Egypt is a good and big country. In the Arabic pronunciation, they call it Misri. We call it in English Egypt. The people of Israel were slaves 400 years plus in Egypt and they cultivated their lands and everything for them. So Egypt is a Egypt is a big country. Equatorial Guinea has the highest literacy rate in Africa. Equatorial Guinea have the highest literacy rate. Literacy rate in the country is 95% in Africa, and that's according to a research they conducted in 2020. Equatorial Guinea is the highest, has the highest literacy rate in Africa, 95%. It's believed that in Rwanda, there's, that's one of the visionary men in Africa, Rwanda, for Hagami's country. It's believed that there are gender equality, more gender equality in Rwanda than in England and the United States of America. Why do we, why are you always compare ourselves to these people? Because they believe that they are the superiors in terms of these areas. But it's believed that Rwanda, Kagami's country, Kagami, its people have more gender equality. That's not discriminatory to uh, any gender group, being a female or male. Uh, and normally, it's being discriminated against the female. There's no gender uh, discriminatory against any gender in Rwanda than even in the United States of America and England. Somalia got its first automated teller machine, ATM machine, in October 7, 2014. Somalia received ATM machine in uh, October 7, 2014, automated teller machine, 2014. Ethiopia has the most airports in the Africa, Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. They have their capital is Addis Ababa, and they have the, the most airports in the world. I've been to Addis Ababa, been to Cairo. They have the most airports in Africa. Addis Ababa International, Ball International Airport, located in Addis Ababa. Very big airport, and they have the most airports. Apart from the Ball International Airport, they have other international airports. In Africa, they are the highest. Uh, they are the highest airport in Africa. That's Ethiopia. Ethiopia for yourself. That's Ethiopia. That's the El Salasi. This country, El Salasi, this country, Ethiopia. They are the highest airport in the world. They are the highest airport in the world. Uh, in Africa, they have the highest airports in Africa. Ethiopian economy is to believe to be a growing economy like China and uh, uh, the uh, growing economies of China. But the Western world, we don't hear these things about Ethiopia. Ethiopia is one of the ancient countries in the world. People of Israel. The two chosen ones were moving from, uh, they were, they went to captivity and slavery, and then they went to Egypt and come to Ethiopia before they were sent to their promised land, the modern day of Israel or Jerusalem. So Ethiopia and uh, Israel have a strong ties, they have a strong relationship, 
majority of the Israelites are from Ethiopia. Majority of them are from Ethiopia because they have settled Ethiopia there. So they migrated to Israel. Israel. Ethiopia is a, a Christian nation. It's a Christian nation. South Africa. South Africa has the most Grammy Award winners. SA, South Africa, Victoria, Johannesburg, Cape Town. They have the highest Grammy Awards in Africa than any other country. They have the highest Grammy Awards in Africa than any other country. Eritrea President Isaiah Akweki. Eritrea's President Isaiah Akweki is the least richest president in Africa. I'm proud of him. Isaiah Isaiah Afeki, the least richest president in Africa. Not that he's poor, because you think about his country, his citizens, his people. He has not amassed wealth to satisfy his own self. I've been thinking about the poor Eritreans before, the masses, equality for each and everyone, like the other part of African leaders who amass wealth for even their fourth generation. Eritrea president did not do this. He is the least um, richest president in Africa. That's Isaiah's Akweki. Ethiopia is the African oldest independent country in the world or in Africa, independent country in Africa. It has existed for 3,000 years without being colonized. Ethiopia has existed for 3,000 years without being colonized. They were having strong emperors and strong armies. They were using, uh, they, go, they went to war or they were going for wars with Whereas others were going with dogs and they trained lions. Lions were their pets. Buffaroes and lions. So when the um, Italian captain, Italian army, they tried to come and capture Ethiopia. Um, then Emperor Hela Selassie and his predecessors, they used, they used strong forces. The lions were capturing the Ethiopian captains. The lions were capturing the Italian and the Western um, soldiers. They were capturing them alive. Lions were tearing and buffaloes were tearing them apart. They were not using my then. Uh, nuclear weapons were not there. So the lions were capturing them alive. Ethiopia were not were able to defeat their opponents. And the opponents were not able to capture. Ethiopia. We are not able to capture Ethiopia. El Selassie, one was the 225 and last emperor of Ethiopia. So El Selassie was the first, was the 225 um, emperor for, and the last emperor of Ethiopia. Uh, El Selassie. The higher and the 225 and the last emperor of Ethiopia. Kenya has the highest paid member of parliament. Kenya, on record in the whole Africa, Kenya paid the highest. I'm even um, thinking of how much they pay to their MP, that member of parliament, and the presidential staffers and who. Kenya is the highest paid. They pay these people more in Africa than any other country. Uh, it's interesting how Ghana and Nigeria they are paying their member MPs. And uh, it's believed that Kenya is paying is the highest paid MP. It's believed Kenya is the highest paid. They pay their MPs more than any other countries in the world, then it's an interesting, it's an interesting.
even to Dubai. Let me see. Kenya has paid the highest paid. Kenya has the highest paid members of parliament. They pay more than those even in oil rich countries. So Kenya pay more than those even in the oil rich countries. Even in the oil rich countries. Even in the oil rich countries. Botswana. Botswana has the most valuable diamonds and the richest diamond mine in the world. The, the Juawan diamond mines, Botswana. All the resources in, Af in the world, uh, majority of them, the exception of oil, the mineral ones are located in Africa. Even in Africa, Nigeria, is, uh, they produce oils, crude oils in large quantities. Nigeria produces crude oils in large quantities. So Botswana has uh, uh, most valuable diamonds and richest di diamond mines. Drawing diamonds mine in Africa. Ghana was the first country to gain independence from colonial rule in the sub Saharan Africa. All the African countries, Ghana was the first with our visionary president, Dr. Osajifu Nkrumah, fought for independence. So, Ghana became the first African country to get independent from our colonial masters. From our colonial masters. Ghana was ranked Africa's most peaceful country by the Global Peace Index. The Vota, in Vota region of the, the country, the world's largest man-made lake, the whole world, the artificial lake, the Vota, is um, located in Ghana. And Ghana is among the world's peaceful country in Ghana by then, as of now, I don't know, because Ghana is still the most peaceful country to live. To live. And Lake Vota, the largest artificial man made lake in the world, is Lake Vota. Ugandans were ranked as the best English speaking uh, English speakers in Africa. Uh, I wonder who Uganda they were ranked as the most best speakers of English in Africa. You have your own language, so if, you are, if they are just you, the best speakers of Cambodian language, I don't think it's, it's, a, it's a price or it's something we should boast of. We should cherish our own culture, but Ugandans and their, their, their donation also. I don't know who are just that award to Ugandans. Their donation. Maybe they were adjusted as the overall best English speakers in East Africa, not West Africa or Northern Africa or wherever. Tanzania is the largest country in East Africa and includes highlands of Zanzibar, Pamba, and Mafia. Tanzania is the largest country in East Africa. The East Africa encompasses of Malawi, Lesotho, no Lesotho in South Africa, Malawi, Uganda, Tanzania, and, uh, and the rest. Kenya is also in East Africa, and Uganda, uh, Tanzania is the largest among all these countries. Around all these countries. Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa. The population of Nigeria outnumbers itself a million times other population of such as Ethiopia and uh, uh, Egypt. Nigeria is the most populous around 250 million people uh, lives in Nigeria. It's a big um, country and that rank is the most populous country in Africa and the sixth most populous country in the world.
the whole world, Nigeria is being ranked as the 6th most populous country. Rwanda is the largest producer of cotton mineral. That's Rwanda is the for Kagami's country. We are the largest producer of cotton mineral. The cotton mineral is used to make the mobile phones and uh, cameras. The mineral that is used to make or manufacture the mobile phones and the cameras is called cotton. And uh, Rwanda is the world leading producer of the cotton mineral. They produce the cotton mineral in large quantities or in commercial scale. The cotton mineral is to make tantalum using mobile phones and cameras. The tantalum, they use the cotton mineral to make the tantalum, which is then used to make cameras and uh, mobile phones. They use the cotton to make cameras and uh, mobile phones. The cameras is used to snap pictures and do a whole lot of things. And do a whole lot of things. And do a whole lot of things. talking about the cotton minerals which is then used to make the tantrum which is used to produce the mobile phones and cameras and the rest all is produced in the Kaganese country that's Rwanda 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 produce all these things Rwanda produce is the producer of the tantrum which used to manufacture um, this uh, Go, uh, cameras and uh, mobile phones. In 2009, DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo, had an estimated 24 million, 24 trillion dollars on tap mineral deposit. Uh, Africa, why are you still like this? Uh, in 2009, it was estimated that um, the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, um, had an estimated of 24 trillion dollars on top minerals. And we are still, I don't know what they are going to use the mineral for. Mineral deposit includes world's largest reserve of cotton and different quantities of world copper reserves. So DRC and Rwanda is the world leading in the producing of cotton which is then used to make the tantrum. The devices we use to make mobile phones and camera. The mineral is a mineral, which is called cotton. Then they used to make the tantrum. It's located or Democratic Republic of Congo and Rwanda. It's the world leading producer of these two things. They are the world leading producer of these two things. In large quantity, they have reserves. They have reserves in large quantity. 
the, the, uh, Malawi also is the world leading on world producer of. They are the world producer of um, Lake Malawi. Lake Malawi. Malawi is the home to the third largest lake in Africa, Lake Malawi. Yes. Lake Malawi is in Africa. The third largest lake in Africa is Lake Malawi. Malawi. We have River Niger, it switches down to Congo. Orange River Zambezi, Lake Malawi. Lake Chad, Lake Chad. Tanganyika and Victoria. All these are rivers in Ghana. River Niger down to Congo. River Niger is down to Congo. Orange River is also there. Zambezi is there. Lake Malawi, Tangaika, Victoria. All these are rivers. All these are rivers. River Niger, which is down to Congo. River Niger is down to Congo. Orange River, which is on Zambezi, Lake Malawi, Tangaika, and Victoria. Lichard, Lichard. Malawi is the first tea producer in Africa. At the commercial scale, Malawi is the first tea producer in Africa. They produce coffee, which is used in, which is used to, in tea. Malawi is the, the most producer of coffee in Africa, in Africa, in Africa. In commercial scale, Malawi is the most producer of coffee in commercial scale. Zambia relies on copper as one of its biggest exports. Zambia, the copper mines. This reminds me of my mentor, uh, Bishop Tito Bisma. <laughs> Zambia have the copper mines. They rely on copper. They produce copper in large quantity for export. As big export. Zambia, that's South Africa. Zambia, South Luangwa. National Park. Zambia South Wangwa National Park has one of the African highest dens density of big game. Zambia South Luangwa National Park has the one of the African largest big game. That's people go there for animals, reserve they go there um, for tourism to look at the animals and cook. To look at the animals and go. All is found in Zambia. All is found in Zambia. To look for the animals and go. All is found in Zambia. All is found in Zambia. Zambia South, however. Kenya is the first and only African country to produce as a president. Uh, Kenya is the first and the only African country as it stands now. We don't know. Some years to come, this record will not go. So, Kenya is the first African country and the only as at now to produce United States president. He has Barack Hussein Obama, the young president. As a young president to be in the United States, Kenya produced this honorable man. His father is from Kenya and his mother was also from the States. So Kenya or um, Obama, that's Barack Obama originated from Kenya. He originated from Kenya. He is from Kenya and we are proud of him as Africans. We are proud of Obama as Africans. We are proud of Obama as Africans. Obama is from Kenya and we are proud of him as Africans.
South Africa is known as the highest, we have the highest super uh, rich cities and residents in Africa. That's we have 38,400 million millionaires in Africa. South Africa has the highest number of super rich residents in Africa. With 38,000 $400 millionaire. $38,400 millionaire. South Africa has this record. That the richest millionaires are in South Africa. Gambia produced the highest judge on the International Justice Auto Lanzoda. Zambia or no Gambia is known as the country in Africa which produced the highest judge in Africa. In the International Court of Justice, the, the, the Gambia are the people who are producing these judges. They are producing these judges in Africa, the Gambians. They are producing these judges in Africa and in the world. The highest mountain in Africa is Mountain Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro, Mount Kilimanjaro is in Africa and is the highest mountain in Africa and uh, we also have the Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa and we have it's the, fair, uh, the second highest in the world apart from Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the, which is located in the Nepal in the Middle East area or in the Asian continent, Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the world, the second and the highest in Africa is Mount Kilimanjaro. In Ghana, we have Mount Jato. Mount Jato, Jato is in Ghana and is the highest mountain in Ghana, which is located in the Bota region. The Bota region. The mountain um, Kilimanjaro is in Tanzania, it's in Tanzania. The highest, uh, the, the largest river in the world, the largest river in the world, the Nile River, it starts from Uganda, but it's controlled by the Egyptians. The largest river in the world, the River Nile, it starts or has a source uh, or tributary or uh, source from Uganda, but it's being controlled by the Egyptian. Egyptians are wise. They keep they should keep on controlling them because when they leave it to the African or the Middle Eastern part, what will happen to the river will not be good. So Egyptians do the water and the river start from start from uh, Uganda, but it's being controlled by the Egyptians. It's being controlled by the Egyptians. It's being controlled by the Egyptians. South Sudan is the youngest country in the world. They gained independence or they were recognized as a country in uh, 2011. They were recognized as a country after his declared free in independence in July 2011. We have South Sudan, have mineral resources, all manner of mineral resources and other stuff, but its citizens are still poor. We have all mineral resources. Full diamond bauxite, but its citizens are still poor. That's South Sudan for you. Petroleum, uh, they have agricultural products, petroleum, and among others, South Sudan have petroleum. They have the petroleum minerals, agricultural products, and among others, but its citizens are still poor. That's South Sudan for you. That's interesting about Africa, South Sudan, that's South Sudan for you. We are going to look at another one. Uh, look 
Liverpool and another one. Cape Town has been voted the biggest city in the world seven times on Telegraph Cabo Award. Uh, Cape Town in the South Africa, Johannesburg, Cape Town, and uh, Pretoria. Cape Town has been voted as the largest city in the world, not in Africa, seven times by Telegraph Award. Travel Award, Telegraph Travel Award. That's great, that's great. Liberia was the first African country to gain independence. Liberia was there. Ghana gained the independence in 1997 and in sub Saharan African continent. But Liberia gained independence in 1847. 1847. We are talking of Ghana gaining its independence in the 19th century. Liberia gained independence in 1847. Liberia gained independence in 1847. Sylvia Johnson was once a president, the female president. Liberia was once having a female president. Sylvia Johnson. Sylvia Johnson. Lesotho is a long, long country. Located or is located, it's a country found in a country. It's located inside South Africa. Located inside South Africa. Malawi, Lesotho, they are all a, a landlocked country. Lesotho is a landlocked country. Uganda is a landlocked country. A landlocked country is a country that does not have any of its territories connected to the ocean or the sea. Being it Atlantic Ocean or the Gulf of Guinea or whatsoever, Uganda don't have it. You know, it's territory being connected to the sea. Uh, Lesotho is also a landlord country. Burkina Faso is a landlord country, and I'm, I'm proud of the Burkinas. They do all their... Burkinas do all their transit. They do all their shipping and other stuff in Ghana. Burkina transport all their goods in Ghana. They transport all their goods in Ghana. When they, I mean, when they ship something, when they import something, they use, they have to use our ports. But we not use the Ghana ports to transport all their, all their shipping products. When they buy something from outside the Burkina, they use our ports to their destination. They use our ports to their destination to go to their country. They use to our ports. Mozambique. Mozambique. Mozambique is the only one world country named to feature all five vowels. The vowels, the English teachers will be here to assist. The vowels, Mozambique. Use as the only one word country that use the five vowels to feature its name as Mozambique. Only one word country name to feature all five vowels. Name to feature all the five vowels is Mozambique. Are we traveling? Are we learning something? Hope you are learning something from the videos you have been making. You are learning, always learning, learning, and learning. Hope you have been making. of Genesis Zidane, DJ Drogba, Samuel Leto, Robert Mugabe, uh, Samuel Jan, Samuel Jan has also retired from football recently. Samuel Jan has announced his retirement from football. And Michael Asian, Stephen Apia, they are all world legends. They are playing to the highest peak in Africa. When I, was, I traveled to Asia, one Arab man asked me, he has shit hands with baby jet before. And I was, wow, wow, wow. Even shaking hands with baby jet is an achievement in the, uh, to some people. That baby jet is not an ordinary man. You, know, you made mention of Nelson Mandela, Liko Dangote, Liko Dangote and the rest. Liko Dangote. 
Nelson Mandela and the rest. Nelson Mandela and the rest. Yeah, I'm throwing highlights or we are going to bring the curtains down on countries with the highest population of black people. We are going to look at countries with the highest population of black people in the whole world. Which country has the highest population of black people? Nigeria is the top on the list. They have 221 million black people in Nigeria. It's a black country or it's a country for the Africans. Africans, we are the black people. And Nigeria has 221 million population being black. And most activities in Nigeria is agricultural country. They have uh, mineral deposit. They have they produce Nigeria produce um, Nigeria produce petroleum in higher quantity. They produce petroleum in higher quantity. Nigeria produce petroleum in higher quantity. And uh, most of the activities they engage in businesses. Nigerians are noted for businesses. They are noted for business. Then they are good in IT, ICT. People are afraid of them. Nigeria, how they use the ICT, they can easily find you at one corner. Or one corner. Nigerians are good in ICT. Uh, they produce good number of people. Uh, IT. They are good in the IT world. Nigeria. Ethiopia. Nigeria has uh, 221 million population of black citizens. Ethiopia has 123 million. Ethiopia has 123 million population being black. African. Ethiopia is the highest people. They have 123 million black population. And to my surprise, Brazil is third on the list. They have 110 million black population. Brazil has 110 million black people in the world. That's the third, the third with black, um, black country or country to have number of highest black people in the world is Brazil is the third on the list. That's why Pele, Pele originated from Brazil and is part of this team. That's why Pele was there. DRC, oh no, no, this not DRC, this Dr. Congo. Dr. Congo also has 97 million black population. Dr. Congo also has 97 million population. And we have Tanzania. Tanzania has 84 million black population. Tanzania has 84 million black population. Kenya, the pride of Africa. Kenya is the pride of Africa. They have 57 million black people. Kenya has 57 million black people. Kenya has 57 million black people. Uganda and Kenyans are they also have good airlines, good infrastructure, and they have they are one of the good they have one of uh, they are one of the good economies in Africa. They have one of the good economy strong economies in Africa. Kenya is also part. Kenya is also part. Uganda fifty million. Uganda has fifty million population of Africans. Of black people, Uganda has 50 million population of Africans. So okay. South Africa, 49.3 million of black people. 49.3 million of black people. The Soto, Malawi, they are all from part of South Africa. USA, United States of America, they have 47.2 million black citizens. They have 47 million black citizens. So, USA, they did what is known as, um, they trans, 
they were doing slave trade in the olden times. USA used slave trade to transport most black men or black people to Brazil to cultivate sugarcane, and they were then transported to the United States to send most black people to the Brazil to cultivate sugarcane. They came there and they were then transported to the United States. They were then transported to the United States. They were then transported to the United States. And the USA also, they also introduced a lottery, a raffle, raffle things, which is known as the diversity Pesa um, lottery which has helped millions of Africans and the intellectuals, not any other African, to migrate to the United States and its good. Most of the African citizens have used this chance to go there and settle there, of which a time will come to give them the permanent president. They have been giving them the permanent president. So, they have been giving them the permanent president. So now it's USA, USA, United States of Africa. Dr. Congo, Dr. Congo is different from DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo. They are all in Africa, in particularly East Africa or North Africa. Rwanda, they are the, they are the cultural country. They have the longest serving president, 37 years, from authoritative rule to democratic dispensation. Uganda has migrated from authoritative rule. They have a president who has been in power for 37 years to serve from authoritative rule to democratic dispensation. That's African for you. Ethiopia, the oldest African city or country which has not been colonized, except they use they use um, lions and the zebras to capture to prostrate their enemies. They use lions and zebras to prostrate their enemies. They use lions and zebras to prostrate their enemies. That's Ethiopia. The youngest country in the world, uh, the South Sudan, they were declared in July 2011 as the independent state. And uh, I made mention that we have minerals and agricultural products and other petroleum products, but they are still poor. Their citizens are poor. Its citizens are poor. Botswana has valuable diamonds. They have what is called the black diamonds. Have you heard of the black diamonds? Botswana has diamonds in the world. And the DJ Drogba was once a top school scholar in the European or top school scholar for for um, Chelsea score in the European competition. Samuel Leto, it was first. Samuel Leto was once the highest paid in 2011. He was the highest play, paid player in Russia. He was received 330,000 euros per week. That's Samuel Leto, first. Eritrea president. It's Isaiah's effect. Isaiah's effect from Eritrea is the least preached president in the Africa. Not his poor. You think about his citizens, Eritrea. President is the least African president. Not that he's poor. You don't have mind. It does not accumulate. I recommend all presidents to learn from Eritrea's president. You don't have good uh, convoy and all those things. When he's going, you don't move in big convoy and all those things, as in other parts of Africa. 
or the Hinge, a retired president do not do so. A retired president do not do so. A retired president do not do so. They don't move in that Congo. And the Kenya is the highest, the country with the highest, which pays its members of parliament or presidential staffers with the highest money in the world or in Africa. They pay even more than the, um, the oil producing countries like Dubai and the Saudis. And Kenya paid its uh, member of parliament, MPs, more than even in those countries. So that's Africa for you. I want this video here. If you are new to the channel, can you subscribe, share your comment, leave your comment based on domestic travels. Let's help me grow the channel today. Get me on. 0541769254 if outside Ghana plus 233. See you in my next.